Truffle, what's your favorite piece? Tell me. Turn your head if you like the first piece. Okay, Truffle's gonna tell us what Truffle, you like this one? You like this one? Okay, so I'm excited for today. We're going to Old San Juan to go pick up the Muhammad Ali photos. We are working on a collaboration with the Muhammad Ali Foundation. It's all pretty exciting. It's gonna be a sick print release. Basically what it's gonna be, it's gonna be an addition. We're gonna pick up the original photos today from the camera shop, wherever the shop is. I've never been to this shop, but it sounds pretty cool. They sell camera equipment. I love buying camera equipment and buying that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get some prints, maybe some new camera stuff. Then once we get these prints, then we can start painting on them and working on them and see how we're gonna make this collaboration happen. Oh, look who it is. Are you ready for our trip to San Juan? Oh, she's going on a field trip. I would let her uh, go to the bathroom yeah. first. We are still in the potty training process. It's a long, grueling process, but to get the best dog possible, you gotta make sure they train. Oh, look at that face. Oh, oh I love her. Oh. oh, she's so cute. Gotta make sure that hair is good. <laughs> okay, and we are off with truffles. Truffles, you ready for your car ride? We rolling. Yes. Field trip to San Juan. We're almost in San Juan. We live like 30 minutes from San Juan, so it's a little bit of a journey, but it's where everything's happening. It's like, you know, the main city of Puerto Rico. We on our way to San Juan. I don't think she's ever been to San Juan, has she, Alexa? No. Wow, first Aww. trip to the big city. Baby's first trip. To the big city. Oy. She was in Los Angeles though, so. Yeah, but She's an LA girl, she's from LA, you know. So cute, <laughs> LA girl. Wow, the waves are crazy today. So cool, I've never been here. Puerto Rico was ruled by the Spanish colonials, so a lot of the downtown old San Juan area is a very Spanish feel to it. It's always a pain coming into old San Juan because all the parking garages are so low and this truck ain't this fit. Is so beautiful. Paper. Okay, they look great. Nice. I'm excited to paint on these. Good job, my friend. I try. Okay, we got the prints. Where you want to go eat? It's kind of healthy. Wow, look at that from the earthquake. That's crazy. Look, that's where they filmed the Despacito video. Yes. Despacito. So we are back in the studio. Just picked up the Muhammad Ali prints. Um, so yeah, let's check these out. Come on. Truffy, 
Trump is not really used to the studio yet. Um, she's got to get used to the studio because she's been spending a lot of time here. So we're going to unwrap these prints. We'll put Trucky here so she can chill with me. Okay, so this is exciting. I briefly saw the prints in the in the print shop, but I didn't really get to look at them because I was distracted. You were, Alexa was calling me. You were calling me because the cop was making me look. Enough excuses, <laughs> let's see them. <laughs> look at Trusty, she's so excited to see it. Are you excited too? I am too. Wow. So I basically, I chose these prints, these photos, out of a whole bunch of images. And these are the ones I'm gonna paint on. So it's gonna be a print suite. So it's going to be four prints available for sale. So I had it go like this. This is how I had the layout. So it's like, you kind of get the feeling of like all of Muhammad Ali's boxing style. This is like his iconic, you know, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And then this is like him knocking him out. You know, this is another. So we'll tape these onto the wall and start working on them painting. I got an extra set of them. So if I make any mistakes or I can do two different versions and we can go from there. Truffle, Truffy, Truffle, Truffle. Truffle's gonna work on them a little bit too. Truffy. Where you going, Trump? She's checking out the studio. If you pee on that truffle, you're in big trouble. I'm gonna mount these pictures. I'm gonna mount these on the truffle! Like this. So. I can paint on them, I can move them around, so it's good to have them out here. Okay, truffle, no more walking on the photos. taping it down so we can work on it. Photo look a little more vintage, give it a little yellow look. So we have a yellow ochre. I'm gonna mix a little bit, just a little touch of this with some Liquitex matte varnish. So, you see this mixture? Now I mix a little brown with that yellow. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so after last night, I put a lot of thought into this piece and how we're gonna attack it. I had two different perspectives on it. Maybe less is more with it and do just a couple touches. But then I was thinking, what's the point of even buying an Alec Monopoly piece if there's only a couple touches? So on this one, I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna add everything that I could ever dream of on it and not worry about whatever anybody else thinks because that's the importance of art. You do what your heart feels. You do what you wanna do and if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. At least you're putting your heart into it and you're being true to yourself. So we're gonna be true to ourselves and we're gonna be true to Muhammad Ali, the greatest. So here's the piece right here. Okay, here we go.
Okay, I just finished the taping process. It's painstaking, annoying, and it's not fun, but you have to do it if you wanna preserve the image. So I found when you're painting on the photographs, it's best to preserve large portions of the photograph so you still feel it's a photograph and a painting collab. Otherwise, if you're painting over the whole thing, you might as well just make a fresh painting. So I found that the characters staying true to the photograph are cooler. We'll see, because this is a tester piece. We're just, you know, we're getting to know each other with this. My, me and Muhammad, and it's coming along nice, I think. Okay, so we're gonna paint on this now with spray paint and some uh, acrylic paint. Let's go. Okay, so right now I'm adding in the ring for the boxing ring. Kind of to give it perspective and make it a little more realistic. Okay, so now I'm gonna touch up the money bags a little bit, add some shading, add some color, fix them up. Okay, we just did the ropes here, and I'm starving. So we're gonna go meet up with Alexa by the beach and get some lunch. Yeah. Crazy weather, it's so weird. It's like raining one moment, then it's sunny the next. Or it's sunny and it's raining. You never know, island weather. Look at this, it was just sunny two seconds ago. Now it's raining. You see what I'm dealing with over here. Alexa, look at this healthy lunch we're having. Where's truffle? Truffle. Truffle, no french fries. You're, you're healthy, you're <laughs> vegan. She's an alcoholic. She's just trying to drink. Yeah, she's alcohol. drinking my drink. Was it good? Oh. <laughs> so I just finished lunch and I'm on my way back to the studio. We we're talking about the weather here, how unpredictable it is. Look at this. It was just a nice day over by the beach, and now we're in a storm. Oh my god, this is crazy. It's like a hurricane. Okay, made it back to the studio. Storm out there, and it's back to work. Okay, so I just finished the first one. I'm gonna put a little border around it to kind of get the idea of what it will look like with a white border on it. But bear with me, this is the first one. We're gonna do a couple more tests, little trials. You know, it's the first one, so they all, uh, you know, they change a little bit, they need a little work. So uh, this one looks good. We're off to a good start, and we're gonna, you know, take the rest of the day off and get to work on this tomorrow. All right, see you guys tomorrow. 
Okay, and we are back. We took uh, the rest of the night off, just chilled out, Sunday night, relaxed at the crib, and we are back at the studio. We we're working on these Muhammad Ali photos. Official collab. We're on to the next image. Let me show you the next image. Okay, so this is the next image I'm gonna be working with. So this one uh, is more of an action shot. So I think I'm gonna be doing a little more splatters, maybe less graffiti, maybe not as busy. Uh, we'll see, once we get it on the board and we start looking at it, then we can go from there. So this is kind of to give you a idea of what the print suite will look like. So, this is my favorite part, peeling off the tape. It's like kind of the moment of truth. So now I'm gonna paint uh, a white border around it, kind of like this, to kind of uh, make the piece a little more bold. It's called a force field in graffiti, so we're gonna give this a force field. We're back. Another day, another piece. We're working really hard on these pieces. We're going extra hard on these pieces and extra detailed and extra thought into them. There's gonna be a print edition of these pieces. We're gonna do 150 prints of each of one of these images. So these images are great on their own and then they're also great together as a print suite. So you pick your poison. I was working on this one last night. I added some, uh, some butterflies and bees. One of his famous quotes is, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So this has bees, butterflies, So we're working on this one. Okay, just finished this guy. Okay, it's feeling a little empty on this side. I think I'm gonna add one more butterfly here.
So we've been working like crazy on these pieces. We're gonna go take a nice little lunch break and get something. Muhammad Ali, we'll be back. We are going to lunch with Trophy. Oh, ho, ho. and where are we going? Chili's. Chili's! Okay, so have you ever even been to Chili's? Um, I don't think so. But I know what it is, I know it's really known. See, I've been to Chili's once in the airport, but never like an actual I've one. I've seen it, yeah. I've yeah, seen in it the, at airport. the airport. I've never so, been to Chili's. So, let's see what this is all about. There's not many options here in Puerto Rico, so you kind of got to work with what you got. Treacherous. Go that way. Or come this way, it's fine. It's not that. The off white. Truffle, hurry up and poo so we can go to Chili's. This is what it's like having a three month old puppy. Good girl. Okay, you ready for Chili's now? Her first time in Chili's. She wants a margarita, I think. You want a Chili's margarita? Okay, so I think we over ordered a little bit, but first time at Chili's, go hard or go home. Truffle. She's gonna go nuts when she smells the ribs. This is so I'm, healthy. I am scared right now. Very healthy after the gym. <laughs> I'm a savage. It was good? Mm -hmm. Is that why you wore a hot dog shirt? <laughs> I feel super fat right now. Aww. It depends what you eat. <laughs> Truffle liked it. I keep going to hide my face and then I realize I don't have to. True. Okay, we are headed back to the studio. On our way back to work. With a food coma. Last but not least, we're doing the last piece of the series of the print suite. So I kind of color coded it. I wanted to do four different colors that are different and bright and stand alone, but also look good together. I absolutely love filming time lapses. They're like the most fun thing in the world to watch after. It's so satisfying because you're doing all this work, spending all this time and hours, and it's like, it's like fast forwarded, kind of funny. Ventilation system, got to keep your lungs safe. because We're working with CFCs that are in these spray cans, which is very unhealthy to breathe. Okay, so we're finishing up the Muhammad Ali collab pieces. These ones were like, we, you know, we've been experimenting a lot. I went all out on these ones, so we did a lot of paint, a lot of work. We filled up completely the photos. It's all about trial and error, and it's all about getting the best product for the prints, because we're gonna do an addition of 150 of these. I want them to be the perfect imagery, because, you know, it's gonna be in a lot of it's gonna be in 150 different homes. When I do the paintings that become prints, I usually do a couple versions and I work really hard on them because I want them to be perfect. So I'm gonna sign this one and then these are gonna be done and then I'm gonna work on the ones where it's kind of less is more and uh, we're just gonna do minimal things so you see more of the photo. Okay, so we're gonna let these dry and then um, we'll start working on this again tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. So this one's just gonna be a more minimal piece. The other ones, the background has been painted and it's been filled with a lot of color. And, and I, I think we sacrificed too much of the photo. Like, you almost didn't even realize it's a photo because we painted on it so much. 
So, I think I was doing too much. But we'll see. Okay, so we are finally finished with, well, you're never finished. In art, you're always working on them and you're never finished. But I think we've come to a conclusion. I'm not gonna say yet which ones we like and we're releasing on the print series, but you know, I think I'm, I'm really leaning towards the less saturated ones. But you let me know in the comments which series you like the most, the completely painted ones or the more photographic ones. Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Please click subscribe now, like the video, and we'll see you next week.